Well, um, I graduated in 1950, and um, my first job was at the APU, the Applied Psychology Unit, uh, which was in a wonderful country house just outside Cambridge. And it was a fantastic laboratory where people did practical problems given to them by the government or by industry. And then you had a lot of time where you could work out your own ideas. So in that way, it was a bit like MIT. Uh, not MIT, well, MIT, yes, but also the Bell Laboratories in, uh, in America, um, where you, were, you had time to think and you also had directed research. And I think that combination is actually wonderful. You know, I was actually amazingly lucky for various reasons, um, one of which was that we got a new wing to the building. It wasn't a complete new building, but it was a wing added on. And I was given the whole of the top floor for my own laboratory. And um, Larry Weisskrantz, who became professor of psychology in Oxford, had the same. He had the floor below mine. I mean, it was physically below mine. I'm not saying it was intellectually below mine, but and he had his monkeys on his floor. And I had my vision and hearing stuff. I had a, a, a soundproof room also for hearing. And I did my experiments on space for the moon landing there on that top floor. And I had my students there. Uh, so I had my own little empire. Uh, I was only a lecturer at that time. I wasn't a reader or a professor. I was just a lecturer. But I did have my own empire, little empire, mini empire, you know, to do what I like. And it was really an amazing thing. I was financed by the Medical Research Council. And basically, I could do what I liked. I had my own workshop, my own darkroom, laboratories, some very, very good students, who were many still friends, you know. And it was just a sort of wonderful thing. But there's luck in life, isn't there? I just had a very good hand dealt to me by chance at that time. Oh.